we want to simplify the given rational expression. And notice how looking at the radicals, the only radical that appears to simplify nicely is the square root of 81, which equals 9, since 9 times 9 equals 81. So let's rewrite this as the fifth root of, since 9 is a perfect square, let's write 9 as 3 squared. This is still raised to the third power, and we have times the fifth root of 3 raised to the power of 9. Now let's write the radicals using rational exponents. For a quick review, to write radicals using rational exponents, the index tells us the denominator of the rational exponent, and the exponent tells us the numerator of the rational exponent. Notice how this first expression, we have an exponent underneath the radical as well as outside the radical. So we'll do this in two steps. First, the index is 5 and the exponent is 2. Looking at the second set of parentheses, again, the index is 5 and the exponent is 9. So let's rewrite this as 3 raised to the power of 2 fifths. This is still raised to the third, and then we have times 3 raised to the power of 9 fifths. Now here we have powers raised to powers. When we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. So let's write this as 3 raised to the power of 2 fifths times 3 would be 6 fifths. So 3 to the 6 fifths times, here we have 3 to the 9 fifths. And when multiplying in the bases of the same, we add the exponents. So this would be 3 raised to the power of 6 fifths plus 9 fifths would be 15 fifths. 15 fifths simplifies to 3, and therefore this simplifies to 3 to the third, which equals 3 times 3 times 3, which equals 27. So the given expression simplifies nicely to 27. I hope you found this helpful.